So uh, we've got this uh, beautiful pork chop, middle white pork chop. What we're going to do is we're going to brine it. We're going to do a fenugreek seed brine. Uh, give you an awesome flavour for the pork. I'm going to take uh, a pan. I'm going to get it nice and hot. And I'm going to start toasting off some seeds. While the pan's getting hot, I'm going to take a plastic container. And I'm going to add some salt and some sugar. I've got um, half a litre of water that I'm going to add to this. Basically, uh, the brine is going to be a 10% salt and a 5% sugar brine. Pour that in. Now I've got the pan getting hot, I can see some steam coming out of smoke away from the pan, so I'm going to add these in. And I just want to toast them up a little bit. And drop them straight into the brine. Then I'm going to add uh, some of our fermented garlic paste. Uh, this is 1% uh, salt, blitz down with uh, garlic cloves, which is great. And then just to add to this as well, I'm going to take some bay leaves. I'm going to fresh bay leaves, I'm going to give them a little squeeze up, just bruise them a little bit. And then I'm going to take my pork and I'm going to put it straight in. And this will sit in here for two hours, no longer. We just want it for two hours just to really get some moisture in and season it. So uh, now it's been in there for uh, two hours. I'm going to take this pork, pork out. You can see that it's uh, got a slightly cooked texture to it because the salt has uh, started to cure it as well in a, in a sense. Now the next stage that we're going to do for this is we're going to vacuum bag it and then we're going to water bath it in here. A little trick that uh, we do here when we're vacuum bagging anything that has a bone on it, um, you can buy a very expensive bone guard and wrap them in that, but we just use parchment paper. It's cheaper and uh, it's a lot easier to get your hands on. And we just wrap it round. And this will just protect the bag from piercing as the vacuum bag seals. Pop it straight into the end there. Pop this into our multi vac Now the pork's sealed, I'm just going to pop it straight into uh, our water bath. This is uh, quite a large water bath. Uh, you can uh, obviously get them smaller. We do quite a lot of meat in ours, so it's best not to have it jam-packed. You want to uh, make sure there's a little room for the water to actually circulate around. So I'm going to pop that in there for two hours. Um, it's on at 60 degrees and um, it's just going to keep uh, the pork slightly um, medium. Now it's been two hours. I'm going to take out the pork. I'm going to pop it onto my yellow chopping board and uh, cut the bag open. As you can see that is now cooked but it has no caramelization on it so no browning at all. Uh, browning is obviously a massive part of flavour. So to get some browning, we're going to again use the smoke box. This time around, we are going to do a cold smoke. I'm going to fill the smoking box with some wood chips, some oak chips. So we're going to build up the smoke box with some uh, nice um, warm smoke. And then we're going to take the pork, which is already cooked, and pop it inside the box, but away from any heat. Uh, once it's been in there for a little period of time, uh, say half an hour, we're going to um, finish it on the grill. So now you can see we've got some smoke coming out and I'm going to take the pork and I'm going to pop it inside the box and then close it up and basically just take this away from the heat. And This is just a lighter way to smoke. We're going to get cold smoke into there just to flavour it with that little bit of smoke. I'm going to start preparing a Granny Smith apple. So I like to choose the Granny Smith just because uh, I really like the tartness of it, especially when we're going to pickle it, get something really tangy going for us. And I'm just going to peel it around. Now I've chopped the apple, I'm just going to take it on the mandolin and being careful, just going to mandolin it through. For the pickling liquid, what we're going to use is just some 
fresh water. These are, this is our equal volume uh, recipe, so it's one part water, one part light brown sugar or light muscovado, and also some cider vinegar. And I'm just going to stir this around in the being the soft sugar, it'll dissolve very quickly. And I can just set this aside. So now we've uh, cold smoked off the pork. You can see it's taken on some of that orangeness from the smoke. And uh, now we're just gonna finish it on the grill just to give it a nicer charness. So straight over the warm flames. We don't want any of the fat to drip down and spoil the meat. So once we've got a really nice beautiful colour, I'm just going to take it off and pop it straight into this tray with some garlic oil and using a uh, thyme and rosemary brush. I'm just going to brush off any of the uh, kind of flame marks that might have come across and also get rid of some of that kind of flame flavour which can sometimes be unpleasant. And then once that's done, pop it onto the tray. Here where we're going to assemble the dish. On the dish, we're going to use the sauerkraut. It's a cold garnish, very simple. We're just going to pile that up. Take some of the chives, scatter them through. And then taking some of these pickled apples, we're just going to scatter them down. And this is sweet, salty, both of them quite tangy. Pop it on top there. And this is a dish that we uh, serve in the restaurant all year round. Uh, and it's uh, probably my favorite uh, piece of meat that we serve. So that's it.